So what's going on, everybody? Odd Man 105, a.k.a. the Odd One here. And when was the last time you guys checked your business wall safes? Well, you might want to go take a look. There could be a nice little surprise waiting for you right about now. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'll show you a few things that you can do right now if you want to to earn millions, and I'm talking millions of dollars legit in Grand Theft Auto Online during this event week. Now as you guys are aware, there are five total businesses in Grand Theft Auto that pay passive income. Those are the nightclub, the agency, the salvage yard, the MC clubhouse, and I know a lot of people forget about the MC clubhouse wall safe, but yes, there's a wall safe there, and the arcade. All of which, when at capacity, total $950,000. That's just under a million dollars in free cash, so none of you guys should be sleeping on that. Now, as per usual, let's start our money grind with the Kyle Perico heist, and afterwards, just for fun, we'll do a Clucking Bell farm raid, then we'll throw in a Union Depository contract and maybe sell some crates from one of our small crate warehouses, and afterwards, we'll go rob our wall safes. So, if that sounds like a plan, let's begin. Okay, so we're back here at the old Cayo Perico heist, and as you guys can see, this time the primary loot is Barabons. I'm not complaining, I will take Barabons all day. Now, if you guys want to know how I complete the Cayo Perico heist completely solo and undetected, then check this video's description for my full walkthrough and tutorial video. Alright, Barabons are secure, let's GTFO. We're undetected, let's get up out of here. Okay, so we're back here at Mini Madrazzo's place. There's the handover. So how much did we get this time? Okay, remember that the Barabons are the third highest paying primary loot on Cayo Perico, only being surpassed by the Pink Diamond and the Panther Statue. And the secondary loot was okay. It was nothing spectacular, but it was good enough. So this is the Elite Challenge bonus, which gets us an additional $100,000. So the final take for this Cayo Perico heist was $1,213,421. I will take that all day. So next up in the money grind rotation is the Clucking Bell Farm Raid for an additional $500,000. Now it's not the best payout, but the Clucking Bell Farm Raid is fun in my opinion. And 33. All right, give me the money. There we go. Okay, we're gonna run. All right, let's go. We got this. Like I said, in general, the the uh, clucking bell farm rate is easy. It's just tedious. All right, let's go. All right, stay on the railroad tracks, and that's it. All right, let's go. That's how it's done. That was easy.
And why not throw in a union depository contract for an additional $270,000? You don't need to do all that. I'm just murking them out for the, uh, just because. See, Mike Tyson has what's called old man's strength. All right, where's Miss Government Pantsuit? There she is. Done. And because I didn't do it last week, let's sell all the crates in my small crate warehouse for an easy two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Anyone trying to intercept you on the road? Okay, she just said it. We're going to get attacked. Hold on a minute. Let's put some armor on. Gun out. All right, now we're ready. Let's do it. So, yep, this is an easy delivery right here. Let's go. So, yeah, we're going to get attacked. I'll, if, if anybody comes this way, I'm just going to run them off the road. So, this is an easy 240k. Yes, sir. Let's get that money. Oops. <laughs> Who put that tree in my way? What's that all about? Where'd that tree come from? Now, if we don't get attacked, I'll be surprised. Ah, this one's at that hotel near uh, Pacific Bluffs. Oh, no, it's not. It's right up the street. Okay. Super easy. All right, one down. Vehicles request. Give me my oppressor. Welcome. Boom! 240,000. Done. Let's go. Easy money. Next, let's sell all the vehicles here in the salvage jar, beginning with the Benefactor Schlagen GT.
Uh, cool. Let's get these wheels shipped to Yusuf. Head to terminal and drop it off. And last but not least, don't forget about the passive income from your business wall saves, starting here at the MC Clubhouse. And now, for everyone's favorite part of the video, the numbers. So, as per usual, we began today's money grind with the Kyle Frigo heist, which literally pays for everything else that we want to do in the game. Now, that gives us an initial payout of $1,213,421. Now, add the total profits earned from the Clucking Bell Farm Raid for $500,000, a single Union Depository contract for $270,000, one small crate sell mission at $240,000, the sale of all robbery vehicles at $1,386,000, and last but not least, the total from all passive income from all wall safes at $950,000, just under a mil for passive income. That gives us a total profit for today's money grind of $4,559,421. So it goes without saying, don't forget to check your business wall safes when incorporated as part of your money grind with other heists such as the Cayo Perico, Clucking Bell, Union Depository, and even the Dre contract, you guys will be making some serious, legit cash hand over fist in no time. So let's go out there and let's make that money. And with that being said, this video's a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.